আসসালামু আলাইকুম শুভ সন্ধ্যা রেসপেক্টিভ ফিজিশিয়ানস বিডি ফিজিশিয়ানস এর নিয়মিত আয়োজনে আজ চলে আসলাম আবার আপনাদের সাথে আজকে রবিবার পরিচালনায় পুরোটা সময় জুড়ে আমি থাকব আপনাদের সাথে ডক্টর মাকসুদা জাহান আখি আজকে আমাদের সাথে সম্মানিত স্পিকার হিসেবে উপস্থিত আছেন প্রফেসর ডক্টর এমইউ কবির চৌধুরী স্যার স্বাধীনতা পদক 2020 Founder Principal and Departmental Head, Department of Dermatology and Venereology, MH Shamurita Medical College and Hospital. Sare Shamuhuni presentation Erage Amra Upuho Kurechi, Achke Sar Arikti Guru to Puno presentation Amadeshatu Pustitachan. Amadeshate Akishatu Pustitachan, panelist Shishabe, Dr. Mohammed Tohidul Islam Imdat Sar, Sar Associate Professor, Department of Dermatology and Venereology. Jalalabad Ragi Brage Medical College and Hospital, Silet. Amade Shatashke Knowledge Partner, Hishabe Amade Shatiache Healthcare Pharmaceuticals. Amade Shatashri Cholajaba Professor Emi Kubi Jodhuri Sarikache, Sar presentation near Sar. Best may Allah who Ali Mulhakim in the name of Almighty, who is source of all knowledge and wisdom. <coughs> Honorable doctors, participant. Resource person and my dear colleague. Now, in this situation of pandemic, big problem throughout the world, a new strain of virus is coming every day. You know, United Kingdom started a new strain of SARS CoV virus 2, and we spread it also in Bangladesh and also in Canada and almost most of the countries of the Europe. So in this situation, we, we are not stopped our sharing of knowledge, serving to our people, serving to people and doctors are the front fighters everywhere, every country, every knock and corner of the world. And our doctors are giving wonderful service to the humanity of mankind. So physicians and doctor is the best profession to serve the humanity anywhere, everywhere. Even people goes to moon, to go to Mars, they must have a medical support. So, even people go under the ocean, like Atlantic or Pacific, any place, doctor are there. During the freedom fight, we are in SARP, SARP to our people and the Mukti Juddha. So, you know, we must extend our knowledge. You must freshen our knowledge, continue medical education. In this situation, we are going to discuss today about a very burning problem in the world, psoriasis. Psoriasis is one of the ancient, ancient disease in the history of mankind. The first disease people say it is leprosy. But in ancient Greek, they used to say sora lepra. Sora lepra means eczema, psoriasis, leprosy together, one name was sora lepra. And the psoriasis is not name of today. And 16th century, even 15th century, people are recognizing the disease of psoriasis. Later on, so many things, Galen named the disease and ultimately Professor Hebra designed the classification and goes like that. So this is, this is the history of psoriasis. Psoriasis is a disease, it's very, very easy to diagnose, difficult to treat. There is, mortality is very low, but morbidity is very high. DUK or the daily quality life is very much impaired in case of psoriasis. So today, first of all, we see what is psoriasis, people ask, Define psoriasis. The definition of psoriasis is as something very complicated and complex. Now it is psoriasis is not a disease, it's called psoriatic diseases. Means psoriasis comes with plies, with wings, with their legs, with their fingers. Means it is a disease totally with combination of diseases or comorbidities. It is a common, <clears throat> very chronic squamous dermatosis with polygonal inheritance, polygonal inheritance and fluctuating course. Something goes very, very small, tiny. <clears throat> it is characterized by rounded, sometimes circumscribed, erythematous, sometimes dry, scaly patches, various size covered with grayish white or dull silvery white, umbilicated and lamellar scales. Usually it affects the extensive surface, nails, scalp, genitalia, lumbar sacral region with or without comorbidity. Now we can see this every point is very important. Number one chronic, 
A patient must know it is a chronic disease continuing for a long time. People must know it fluctuates. It may be a dot, it may be a big thing. And it is sometimes round, sometimes elongated, sometimes dry, sometimes scaly, and various size, sometimes covers small place or big place. And the color is grayish or silvery white, and sometimes reddish, lamellar. I mean, there are scales are going on. And normal, normal pre-delication sites are the extensor surface. Extensor means, you know, elbow, knee, and also the lumbosacral region. And nail scalp, it started from the ball up to the toe. Every place is, every place is covered with psoriasis. And this is the definition of psoriatic disease. Next, please. Next slide. Look this picture. Professor Farber, Emeritus Professor E.M. Farber, United States. I met him in 1994 in a World Congress in Delhi. This first Dermatology World Congress in the history was in India and Delhi. I met him in 1994. That time, Professor Farber was <clears throat> a, a man of 94 years in 1994. I met him. And uh, people asked how he defines psoriasis. And he told, it is an Indian story, five blind men and, and one elephant. So blind men cannot see the elephant. Somebody says it looks like a wall. Somebody says it looks like a rope. Somebody says it looks, looks like a nail. Someone says it's a horse five. Somebody says, no, it is just a paper. So like this, you so blind cannot see. So psoriasis started from the gut taste, small drop. Gut taste means rain drop. And up to erythrodermis psoriasis, covering the whole body, even the tongue, mucosa, genitalia. So single word definition is not very easy to define. So this is a giant animal, is it? Now, living animal in land is elephant. And this elephant is so big, but not ferocious. Like that, psoriasis is a disease, very big, very much suffering, but not so much harmful like the elephant, very friendly. So a psoriasis patient can make psoriasis friendly, so no problem, like the elephant. The elephant is so much tamed by a small young man sitting on his uh, near the head and he's called, uh, called the rider or the mouth of the elephant. So no problem. So rice is a big disease, but it may control because it is not like tiger, not like tigress, not like lion. So you can, there are so many things you can compare with elephant. So it is very easy to control it, but a person must be very tactful to control psoriasis. Like the control of elephant, you, know, you must know the technique. So next slide, please. Okay. Sorry, I don't know this side is upside down. Just look the color, this is knee. The color is dull, white, silvery color. This is very important. In dermatology, very important is chromology. Chromology is a subject that deal with mainly color. So color is a very important part in, in dermatology. And now the latest, the latest advent of dermatology is the dermoscopy. It is called third eye of a dermatology. And that place is also very important in chromology or science of color. Next, please. So we know about the definition and the color. We know the types and the color of psoriasis, normal color, we know. Now, pathogenesis. Psoriasis, main pathogenesis, number one, abnormal dif differentiation means normal cell, but there is some abnormality called keratinocyte. Keratinocyte is a cell, but there is psoriatic keratinocyte, quite different. And hyperproliferation. Normally, our skin, we can change our skin within 28 days. But because of the abnormal differentiation, this turnover or turnover of the skin completed within four days, in not four weeks, but four days. So the scales are coming very quickly. And next is inflammation. These three main fundamental of pathogenesis of psoriasis, if you can describe, we can think, we can treat. We must know the pathogenesis before we treat a disease. Without knowing pathogenesis, we don't know how to make tame this big and giant disease until we know the pathogenesis. Next, please. Now we have come to ocean. Definition of so many diseases, only three or four lines. You can define typhoid, you can define malaria, you can define diabetes. But the psoriasis is very, very multifactorial and multifaceted disease. A look here, psoriasis vulgaris. Some people ask, I ask so many young doctors, even the students, what do you mean by vulgaris? Most of the people cannot answer. But vulgaris, the, the word looks so odd because it is a Latin word. Vulgaris is nothing but simple. General psoriasis is psoriasis vulgaris. 
it is not complicated, uncomplicated, uncomorbid, and that causes psoriasis. Not like a simple psoriasis. Most common presentation of psoriasis. Already we know the manifestation in definition. One somebody knows the definition. If you go to my book, textbook I have written, every every disease has got definition. If you read the definition, you explain the definition. No need to memorize. Or no need to memorize. Mukosto karak mo bapari nai. If you see the definition and know the point and the meaning of the definition, meaning is very very important. So when I know the psoriasis is vulgaris, is easy to. Patient asks, "What is psoriasis vulgaris?" Patient, no, they are afraid. They are scared. Wow, I have psoriasis vulgaris. Something very bad. If you say, "Oh no, no problem." Vulgaris means normal. Vulgaris means simple. So no problem. So we know the characteristics of the disease already. We have described the definition. So this is vulgaris. Normally, definition you read is extensive scalp and buttock genital involvement. And all places there is some 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 psoriatic lesion. It is generalized psoriasis or psoriasis vulgaris. And psoriasis start with acute gut tic. Gut tic psoriasis. Gut tic means rain drop. Only drop 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 small tiny drops of lesion covered whole skin of the body. Maybe back, maybe trunk, any place. And and it is called acute because the gut tic psoriasis start with Streptococcus beta hemolyticus infection of the throat. A baby or a child starting a streptococcal infection or tonsillitis, or adenotonsillitis, or pharyngitis, or laryngitis, or laryngopharyngitis, or arthritis, any sorts of any infection in the body from the remote corner, it may start as a gut tic psoriasis. So we have seen gut tic psoriasis. You don't. If I forget, so I tell. I have seen a gut tic psoriasis started the patient suffering from a chronic tonsillitis. I sent this patient to Professor Ajay the MD Professor. He did the tonsillectomy. That he completely recovered. That girl at the age of 18 recovered from the surgery. Till today, she is a doctor. She has got three babies, but no psoriasis. It is completely gone. So there is very good treatment of gut tic psoriasis. Somebody has got tonsillitis. It is completely got tonsillectomy. Psoriasis goes maybe forever. Next please. So gut tic means drop psoriasis. Small, tiny drop like rain drop. Which type of drop? Chronic plaque. Plaque means elevated. Elevated, but it is it is a circumscribed area. Commonest form of psoriasis called plaque psoriasis. It may be round, may be oval. Is one or many centimeter and elbow, knee, and scalp in the trunk. The commonest place of scalp psoriasis, uh, chronic psoriasis. These are the places we must know. Dermatology is very important. Site, site of the disease is very important. Normal, suppose candida albicans. It must go to a moist place, dry things, and psoriasis. Go to a dry place or extensor. Two things: color and site is very important in psoriasis or any diagnosis in dermatology. Next, inverse. Inverse means something reverse, ultra. It is something reverse. Inverse means normally it is in extensor, but in some cases it is in flexors. Like flexor psoriasis also is called flexor psoriasis. Involve intratrigenous fold, axilla, inguinal region, inflammatory, intragluteal region, perineal region. Either it is dominant clinical expression or association with the lesion with the other side. One thing, inverse psoriasis may be associated with normal plaque psoriasis at the same time, but a patient may present only with inverse psoriasis. So psoriasis definition is differ. Why diversified and multifaceted? Because we don't know. Sometimes only one side of the groin there is small lesion, and we are thinking it is tinea cris or tinea corporis. We are treating tinea, but This is not cured, and, and patient goes doctor to doctor because diagnostic dilemma. We are facing a diagnostic dilemma in dermatology in very, 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 very common di diagnostic dilemma. So I, I have designated D. Five D is equal to two C. Number one D, a doctor must be a proper doctor. Number two, doctor must know a disease. Number three, diagnosis should be very proper. After diagnosis. A drug should be chosen very properly. Not only drug. So four is okay. Doctor, diagnosis, drug. But drug dose is very very important. Dose, proper dose. If you give antibiotic, fluoxetin, and twelve hourly, it not work. It's six hourly. Sometimes it is twelve hourly. You give uh, uh, eight hourly. No, it's not not the dose. The dose is very important. Next is duration. Antibiotic you cannot take one day or two days. You must take it for longer time. Maybe seven days, ten days, twenty days, thirty days. Or be more. So drug dose 
and next the duration of the treatment is equal to 2c number 1 cure number 2 is control so if some patient come to me after treating for one week two weeks or one month not cured that means i have done some mistake of the chain of command of d again a mistake can create problem of cure of the disease or control of the disease when this is not control or not cure i must assess myself there is self assessment i have done something wrong it is very important for a doctor to assess himself or herself so <clears throat> then is a palm hunter means palm in the soul psoriasis may remain whole life palm in the soul called the palm of hunter psoriasis and there is crack there is fissure there is hyperkeratosis and it is difficult to work difficult to walk morphology palmar psoriasis often typical sharply demarcated red scaly plaques and there is stopping palm and wrist joint sometimes so much thick lesion you cannot see palm and the wrist is totally covered with the lesion very very important we should be careful and there is a crack sometimes people say oh it is a it is nothing but a crack heel crack heel we must see crack heel there is a bleeding point and that is nothing but psoriasis and there is palmar creases or there are some crack and there is some bleeding oh it is nothing but psoriasis next next slide please so far we have gone the very localized psoriasis now is generalized psoriatic erythroderma erythroderma means erythema why erythema because erythrocyte or red blood cell come just near to the skin surface that is in the not in the dermis it come to epidermis after perfusion of the blood extravasation of rbc and it looks like erythema erythroderma so it is because erythrocyte red it looks like erythroderma dermis skin became red and it is the dermic form of psoriasis represents generalized skin effect body size including face hand feet nail from every places symptom of psoriasis present with erythema most prominent feature is erythema two forms of erythroderma are common first status is chronic plaque type became worsen and involve most of the skin surface patient remains relatively responsive to therapy second type generalized erythroderma present suddenly unexpectedly non tolerant external treatment what happen we are giving steroid giving steroid giving steroid so there is skin became very thin and because of this because of this treatment or because of this uh, emollient or anything give mainly steroid and causes thinning of the after the skin are suddenly generalized or a patient is suddenly develop some fever or steptococcal infection or some uh, bacterial infection or fungal infection may develop erythroderma or exfoliative dermatitis next please so this is one type which generalized starting from the ball to the toe whole body is reddened or erythro erythrodermic pestilus psoriasis psoriasis starting from gut tit starting to erythema to plaque even pestules usually there are two clinically dissimilar condition known as pestilus psoriasis first one is localized pestilus psoriasis ki nothing palm in the soul no hair place and barber psoriasis means it's only in the beard pestilus psoriasis or von jembus pestilus in whole body lot of places pestules but very interesting this pestule in culture there is sterile pus there is no bacteria it is non bacterial pestules these are the all wbc dead wbc causes this clusters of passes localized pustular psoriasis compared with psoriasis vulgaris mostly affect 5th 6th decade means 50 or 60th uh, uh, age of the life is more common in female than in male nobody knows why the female are the victim of pestular psoriasis in male but in practice we see also male are not less next please generalized pestular psoriasis it is very rare time flatter pestular psoriasis normally psoriasis is not a mortal disease it is a morbid disease but in some cases there is fatal there is generalized pestular psoriasis after develop suddenly in psoriatic patient with mild moderate involvement those psoriatic arthritis exfoliative this is called exfoliative dermatitis due to psoriasis and patient may die because two psoriasis patient die number one generalized pustular because of their number one intense involvement of the skin because skin is totally blocked no respiration of the skin may develop even renal failure it is erythroderma people can die why because thermo regulation control means whole body the temperature human body body has got two temperature one is skin temperature one is core temperature in if there is loss of correlation between skin temperature 
and this and the core temperature and there is loss of consciousness or loss of uh, loss of uh, electrolyte imbalance and a patient may suddenly die because of the erythroderma thermoregulation control loss is very very important both the fistula and the erythroderma patient may die this is this is not morbid may be mortal sometime but it is very careful about generalized fistula and the erythroderma psoriasis next is ectroderma is continue of help you and this is help you means it was previously say it is a and this is entity not psoriasis but only in in 1984 85 they define oh this ectroderma is continue of help is is nothing it is a new disease no it is a variety of psoriasis a sort of so typically develop on the acral erythematous plaque suddenly with the fistula only one finger only one finger starting from the uh, root of the finger to the anterior index index finger nothing no other. and it is called acrodermatoid is mean acral part maybe toe maybe uh, maybe fingers or any place of uh, the extremities nail bed heavily involved finger uh, finger nails may float onychomatous for uh, nail may be totally totally lost and resulting anonychia means loss of nail hyperkeratosis or become increasingly painful this arises painful because of the nail shedding or nail onychomatosis next please linear psoriasis you can you see the psoriasis is so much variety of variety of type variety of uh, presentation so it is called elephant with five blind and elephant no in one word you cannot define psoriasis psoriasis so much so much multifaceted disease linear psoriasis is very rare from psoriasis present sometime we have seen a patient it is nothing but epidermal nevus it looks like epidermal nevus but it is psoriasis sometime it is looks like looks like folliculitis and linear folliculitis but ultimately done the biopsy and it is a linear psoriasis commonly limbs but limited dermatosis on the trunk linear psoriasis may occur presence of other typical lesion as koebner phenomenon koebner fernandez koebner he was very known dermatologist he defined some disease causes if you abrade if you scratch along the scratch line the disease may come and psoriasis if on the scratch line and may form a linear psoriasis and this is called a linear psoriasis due to koebnerization like viral wart may be koebnerized like cancerous may be koebnerized this koebner phenomenon is very important to diagnose a disease in dermatology psoriasis anguis nail psoriasis anguia means nail involvement psoriasis a patient may come to you only nail involvement no other place psoriasis one or two pitches five pit on the nail fine pitting and you could diagnose nail nail is defined in the mirror of diagnosis of psoriasis psoriasis diagnosis ke aina bola hoy mirror only sing single nail five more than five pit and it is psoriasis patient has got underlying psoriasis 30 to 40% psoriasis patient has got nail pitting common change is pitting which may be single or multiple nail involving nail even 20 nail may be onychomycosis subangular hyperkeratosis rising crumbling or uh, nail may be grooving nail be longitudinal dry strip any sorts of pinter hemorrhage or may be pustular changes nail plate be thick or may be thick subangular so many changes of nail in psoriasis but common is regular pitting of the nail and subangular nail plate become very thick and this is the nail psoriasis i have seen patient years together only nail psoriasis i have seen patient with the crow uh, only this uh, uh, the fingers are uh, the, all the fingers are uh, swan neck deformity or maybe swan neck deformity and nothing else no psoriasis ultimately i have seen the patient with psoriasis seeing this finger nail a swan neck deformity this is the psoriatic arthritis next please next slide so we have seen now we have covered all the skin surface it goes inside the mouth inside the genitalia mucus involvement is not very common is virtually is confined to pustular exploratory forms of psoriasis but any psoriasis patient may present with only tongue psoriasis or mucus may be psoriasis or cheek psoriasis patient may come under tongue psoriasis so confined pustula it is mucosa there are discrete confluent denuded area and white elevated margin is usually buccal mucosa very important diagnosis of psoriasis of uh, mucosa it is called tongue geographical geographical tongue you see tongue there is a map there is a map like bangladesh me manchitra and when you say there is a definite shape of changes in mucosa it may be cheek may be tongue it is psoriasis 
So you can you can do a biopsy, say it is psoriasis. You do a mucoscopy, it is nothing. You could do a mucoscopy, a uh, dermoscopy with the dermoscope, yes, this psoriasis. Next, you look, we have seen the skin, we have seen the nail, we have seen the scalp, now orthopedic psoriasis. Now big problem, big problem in our society, whether it is rheumatoid arthritis, or it is gouty arthritis, or it is uh, oligoarthritis, or it is monoarthritis. What arthritis is? Some problem. Previously, people are not thinking it is psoriatic arthritis or psoriatic difference is number one. In psoriatic arthritis or orthopathy, there be more dif the dystrophy. It's called psoriatic orthopathy. Swan neck, swan neck, sausage appearance, or so many deformity of the finger, nail, and small joint involvement, DIT, distal interference joint, commonly due to psoriasis. And lumbosacral joint may be involved with psoriasis, lumbosacral joint. A patient say, I cannot take my prayer. I mean, there are animals for I mean, chair and That means there's a lumbosacral sacroiliitis. So you must do x-ray of sacroiliitis. Finger, you can do x-ray, you can see there is capricial deformity on the fingers, nail, and there is x-ray can tell you what type of arthritis. We don't know, it, it, it is what type, it, it is osteoarthritis, or psoriatic arthritis, or gouty arthritis, we must define. Normally, psoriatic arthritis, seronegative arthritis. You do Combs test, or you do to uh, are a factor, and this is a factor not present, is a negative. And those type if there is no skin lesion, it is seronegative arthritis, it is psoriatic arthritis. If there is deformity more, yes, it is psoriatic arthritis. So we must define the arthritis, why? Why I'm telling this? Because normally arthritis patient take, give some steroid. He gives steroid for arthritis or NSAID, non-steroid anti-inflammatory for pain relief. What happened? Ultimately pain, pain is relieved, but I demologist country on forum. I speak and say, you our our fine. It is psoriasis due to arthritis, due to rheumatoid arthritis, or it is gouty, or it is psoriasis. So now our doctors are very much aware. They are also very much knowledgeable about the psoriatic arthritis. Uh, most of our physicians in our country. Next, please. All about psoriasis, regional variation of psoriasis. Scalp. Often, scalp is thick plaques develop, especially at the occiput, common species occiput. And next, whole scalp diffusely involved or multiple discrete plaques and variety of size. Normally, people say it is dandruff or, or kuski, but patient treating year over year with some, some steroid, it is kuski, that's enough. And when a scalp psoriasis, there is a bleeding, patient give you history. Sometimes I scratch my scalp, there are some bleeding points. Yes, this auspicious sign positive in nothing but scalp psoriasis. No other place is involved. Or sometimes there is thick, thick, very thick uh, adherent scale uh, in the uh, scalp. That is amentosia. It is called the amentosia. And amentosia means thick, thick, very thick scale on the uh, on the scalp. Pediriasis amenorrhea. And this is nothing but psoriasis. So psoriasis is multifaceted, not easy to diagnose until all the facets. Face, face is rarely involved because of the high vascularity, but many uh, still and found generalized in psoriasis, you can see face is involved. And another thing, alternative medicine like homeopathy or Kobiraji or something they take, and there is face involvement. You say ocular involvement, even eye psoriasis, patient come, Specialist, see oh, what gives antifungal tree. Doctor, sir, I have got fungus in my eyes, but it's not fungus. It is blepharitis, congenital bleparitis, keratitis, xerosis, simpleferon, or trichiatis. Have recorded chronic uveitis, maybe anything. And this ocular involvement usually associated with psoriatic arthritis. So I may be involved. Ocular involvement. Next, please. Scrotum. Scrotum is an organ. Always remember, scrotum, normally cutaneous fungal infection impossible in scrotum because scrotal, scrotal muscle, this datogenic muscle is ever changing temperature. This movement, a fungus, cutaneous fungus cannot grow there, dermatophyte. 
candida may be there, asparagus may be there, but normally this itching, not due to fungus. Normally I have seen people go to the scrotum and, and since I have a fungus in my scrotum and people, some people mistake, they think it is the urinary bladder. That means not the bladder, it is the scrotum. Some people say scrotum is the urinary bladder. And this, we, I correct the people, it's not urinary bladder, it is something inside. So if a patient make mistake, please correct him because they are not anatomists, they are not physicians. The psoriasis is scrotum, scrotum inless intensity, scrotum is scooting. Scrotum itching, one of the most itching in dermatology. Oprochondo chulkana, not only chulkana, khadjana. The definition of chulkana and khadjana means, chulkana means there is mild and very pleasurable, pleasurable uh, phenomenon is chulkana, but khadjana means not pleasurable. There will be burning, burning, jalapura. And there is khadjana, a normal definition uh, with the patient. It, it is the patient language, not mine. So this is erythematous, uh, scrotum, scrotum may be exfoliated. Lumbosacral area, the most common area of the psoriatic involvement first in the life is the lumbosacral region, large, thick, dry carotidic plaque, fissure known as in, in but traits, so as mean, but there is no muscle. There is skin and the bone, skin in the bone. And this is called lumbosacral serious, napkin, but napkin. They're usually seen in, in napkin area because of the coagulation. And this is typical small child of three months, six months, nine months coming to our psoriasis with napkin area. And they are, people are giving them, giving them because it is not, it is something else, the psoriasis is a different disease. It is autoimmune disease. Psoriasis is not a skin disease. It is autoimmune disease. Next please. Psoriasis is very, very vast, very vast. So I'm going very fast, very short time to cover the chronic plaque number one, the plaque. Can you see this light? This plaque is white, dull silvery white. The name given by Professor Farber, dull white, not shiny silver, dull. Dermatological subject, if you see it, read the atlas, the book you said, and here in this erythromics, this gentleman suffered so much, so many places he went. And people are thinking, oh, what happened with you? Something. But in erythrodermic psoriasis, the gentleman was my patient. Now he's completely okay. Next, please. The two types, the red and white. Different. Different. Oh, psoriasis is not the one color. One type. You look, the auspice sign positive means breeding point. Why breeding point? Because the white scab or the plaque comes up, the Compensatory mechanism of neogenesis, neogenesis, new vascularization, new bases from capillary to supply that scab scale to keep alive. But when you tear it, that capillary ruptures and that rupture is called auspice sign. It looks oronophoric. It is not oronophoric. Means center, there is completely clear, but it is not tinier. But out of the skin, you see there is breeding point. This is the first sign of a resolution of resolution. You can this this very very nice picture. Next, you come here the nail pitting. Look, the, nail, the tiny pitting very important. You should you should see this uh, type of patient and very minute. Slide. Look, why this different? See, flex is not one plaque, confluent. Three flex separate and they confluent together. One plum hair confluent. Oh, this big, but whole area, whole area covered. This is the severe type of flex psoriasis. You look gutted, small gutted, drop, 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 drop. Acute gutted, drafting psoriasis. Only the end. It is not fungal disease because. You see, there is no border. There is no border. There is no border and border flame border. So it is not tinea, it different. Once the uh, uh, psoriasis in versus or a tinea corporis, tinea cris, you can define when you see, yes, definite border is absent. So it is but psoriasis. Next thing, this crack soul, crack soul. You look crack soul, crack. But where is the more relation is more? Not in the contact period. 
contact places, but the arches. Arches, if it is more in the contact places, it is erythroderma or keratoderma or allergic contact or eczema. But when involved the arch, it is psoriasis. Look another, another uh, you can see this uh, palm, whole palm erythroderma. It is almost, it is peeled. Peels man, samrata nai chile. And you can see tricks, tricks. And this is the psoriasis. This is a psoriasis. I can't see this. Next. Okay. <clears throat> Look, this small boy, very small, are having even erythrodermic psoriasis. This boy, so, you know, no? Because people say they are totally doctor. They will throw your liver, spleen, kidney, everything. So go to them. Kakoviraj, come to homeopathic. They will cure it from the nar. Nar means from the umbilicus, from the from birth. They will kill the But the gentleman is suffering from also Unfortunately, he died when he was in you go because you are look this is acrodermis continuum of helical only this you can see this thumb and this is little or uh, this is the ring finger and these two finger and nothing but and this is two places pustules and patient may come present to it only this feature and it's typical typical acrodermis continuum help or a variety of psoriasis a patient may come like this it, it looks like a linear epidermal liver but it's linear psoriasis and this the, you can see this thick nail and thick nails is symbolized psoriasis. Here you can see the tongue. And tongue, what is happening in the tongue? Geographic tongue. And there is psoriasis. So these four types of psoriasis are very, very tricky to diagnose. Next, please. Now looks. This is swan neck deformity, swan neck deformity, also sausage. Sausage in also rheumatoid arthritis, there is sausage, looks like sausage. Rheumatoid arthritis, sausage uh, deformity is there. And also in orthopedic psoriasis, this happened. So nail changes here symbolize it is not not uh, psoriatic arthritis, not rheumatoid arthritis, but psoriatic arthritis because nail changes. There is no nail change in case of rheumatoid arthritis or gouty arthritis or oligoarthritis or any size or, or infective arthritis or monoarthritis. You can see this nail changes. It is nothing but psoriatic arthritis or arthritis. Here you can see erythroderma, erythroderma and oligoarticular asymmetric arthritis. There is symmetric arthritis, there is asymmetric arthritis. You can see swelling here. There is proximal, proximal interphalangeal joint. Proximal, there is, there is swelling. Here you can see uh, one place, they change the name. And they see swan neck deformity. So, so many deformities, swan neck deformity. So this is nothing but oligoarticular asymmetric arthritis. And this is psoriatic arthritis. Look this, this clone. Look this swan neck. Swan neck, very typical, very typical. This classic psoriatic arthritis, classic. A patient so like this, and some patients say, oh, this is nothing, this is not a disease, it is from my childhood. But this psoriatic arthritis, you do an x-ray, you can see cup pencil deformity. Cup pencil deformity means the, the cup, the, there is a pencil in the cup, and it is, it is uh, you know, slanting. Because the, the proximal part of the bone is rarefied, rarification of high so you know, it's called cup pencil deformity. And next you see another, another one same, same as first one. These are in these four four pictures are because of psoriatic arthritis or psoriatic arthritis, small joint. Also, sacroiliitis is there. Then the fusion of the sacrum with the ileum. Patient cannot move, patient cannot pray, patient is going to go to Ruku or Siddha. And that is called that is called sacroiliitis. Next, please. Here she is saying at the mutilant, arthritis mutilant. It's so much extensive arthritis, mutilant, starting from you see, not only phalanges, not only phalanges, also this. Meta, the, the, there is a uh, metacarpal and the also carpal and all these joints, all these joints are involved. Psoriatic, psoriatic scrotum. Look, scrotum, important thing here, the building point. When there is a building point and this is the, this is the line, erythrodermic line, there is no, no inflamed border. You can say it is tinea cruris. And you can see the building point. And this it is very similar to psoriatic scrotum. It is not sporadic scrotum, it is not fungus. It is not uh, uh, elephantiasis, 
Normally, scrotum people comes, oh, it is elephant. Yes, no. Napkin looks napkin area, coibner eyes. Due to coibner phenomenon, they develop napkin psoriasis, small child. And here you see <coughs> ocular involvement, eye involvement. You can see very, very nice eye involvement. You take out the scale, there will be some bleeding point. So this is involved the ocular involved psoriasis. So what, what organ we can see, visible organ, not, not spared by the psoriasis. Also, also renal, uh, so many things, internal organs involved by psoriasis. Next, please. This is a dermoscopic picture of psoriasis of the scalp. This is pityriasis amentasia. Pityriasis amentasia, you look, a very thick scale, you can see, it's called pityriasis amentasia of psoriasis in the scalp. This is auspice sign positive. It is a picture, not normal, but dermoscopic picture. You can see, just take out the scale, and do a dermoscopy, you can see nice bleeding point, even the capillary can be seen here. So this is called dermoscopic image of psoriasis of the scalp. Next, please. <clears throat> so you can see, we have seen few pictures starting from the scalp up to the toe, to the nail, even to the mucous membrane. And uh, this is a vivid and the, and the visual picture we have seen is psoriasis. So journey is almost in midpoint. We are going to end our journey very soon. Uh, don't be disheartened, don't be bored. After bored, feel we should go maybe a few more minutes. Okay. So we know now the psoriasis definition, we know psoriasis uh, classification, we know pathogenesis, we know the clinical picture of psoriasis and the signs and symptoms of psoriasis. Now see clinical manifestation. Got it up to generalized erythroderma. Start from raindrop, go to erythroderma. Lessons are usually symmetrical, bilateral. General symptom, itching, burning, and discomfort. Three things. Sura. Sura means itch. Sura means itch. Suraiasis means scratch. Means itching and scratching, itching and scratching. Sura, a Latin word, is called sora. Sora means itch. And asis means scratch. Means itch and scratch is the, is the definition of psoriasis. Here, you can see symmetrical, bilateral, both these sides, general eye, general symptom, itching, burning, discomfort. Diagnostic criteria, it's called cardinal sign, auspice sign. Already we have described what is auspice sign. You have seen oron offering, nail involvement, and comorbidities, diabetes, blood pressure, or a patient who is uh, um, uh, IBD or IBS, IBD, or some metabolic syndrome or diabetes. These are the comorbidities. Comorbid means psoriasis with other diseases together. Comorbid, exonge means. Psoriasis inviting other disease together to, to do a cooperation, comorbid, sufferings together. So auspice sign or an offering, nail involvement. Next, please. So this is the sign symptom, very, very simple. Now physical examination. The classic lesion psoriasis sharply marginated. There is no progressive margin, you know, central regression like psoriasis, not shiny, shiny biolaceous plaque like uh, lichen planus. Not, uh, not uh, woozy lesion like eczema, erythematous papule, silvery white. Very, very classic. You can differentiate. Complication, infection, second infection, itching, CBR itching, arthritis, nephritis, renal failure, hepatic failure, amyloidosis. These are the complications. Laboratory infection, very simple. No, no need to go see Anka, P Anka, or RT PCR, or very, very big, big test. So many tests done now in the world. Maybe go for, uh, go for MRI, go for. Uh, go for CT scan or go for um, uh, MRI or CT or now it's called PET scan, positive exchange tomography, nothing. Very simple. Number one, complete blood picture. And blood picture will show high ESR and WBC will be high. Leukocytosis. Leukocytosis and ESR high. ESR titer will be high in case of gut tissue rise because of the Tephtococcus is there. Skin biopsy, very, very nice. Doppler velocity metric. Doppler velocity metry is a test. You can tell psoriasis five years earlier, a skin Doppler, if you have a Doppler of the whole skin, you can find out a path, means the man will develop psoriasis maybe after five years. The Doppler velocity, it, it is a type of ultrasound. It is a type of ultrasonograph. It is a Doppler study. Next, please. Another, dermoscopy is the, now the latest. Dermoscopy is the latest investigation we are doing now. Dermoscope is an instrument and it magnifies 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. 
without blurring in mono monochromatic is a monochromatic light it is a chromological diagnosis by dermoscope now we are doing in children normally we are not going for biopsy we are doing uh, dermoscopy there is a about dermoscopy there is a big big debate in, uh, in bombay i was there and debate was oh, should we go for dermoscopy and should we uh, why not biopsy why dermoscopy non invasive invasive ultimately at the end of the discussion i give a conclusion the people are saying no we cannot diagnose dermoscopy it is nothing how can you see outside the skin then i told you can do a small tiny pin at tumor of the brain with a ct scan or a mri why not doing the skin surface uh, tumor diagnosis with the dermoscope why you are so were underestimating this uh, instrument then the whole audience was so happy to know this this uh, this comparative study of mri ct scan and dermoscope in skin so now dermoscope is the third eye third eye of uh, dermatologist now everything gone diagnosis is complete investigation is complete next is surgery is treatment 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 every uh, previous i guess next dekhte back please go back i have designated treatment not very not very elaborate only in coincide emollient emollient is very good treatment is rice use some vaseline use some emollient so many emollient use some moisturizer nothing use some olive oil use some shorisher tel there is uh, or narikel tel there is coconut oil or mustard oil it's very good thing corticosteroid started to long back more than more than uh, almost 50 years still is continuing corticosteroid not oral corticosteroid not parenteral corticosteroid only topical corticosteroid vitamin 3 d analog d analog is another treatment it is steroid sparing drug calcipotriol all are vitamin d calcipotriol calcitriol and tecatriol they are same next combination of betamethasone and diphenylpropionate with with anyone maybe d analog maybe calcipotriol or tecatriol and the steroids together combination of the betamethasone and tazarotin is another also vitamin a derivative as a topical treatment cold tar most ancient treatment cold tar is a is a magic treatment because till nobody know there is 50 ingredient now active ingredient in one cold tar 2% 50 ingredient diethanol it must be diethanol a treated under supervision of a physician don't give a patient uh, ictamolis or diethanol take home and treat there will be burn you should be very careful about diethanol next please so these are the topical treatment next come uh, uh, phototherapy photochemotherapy broadband uvb or narrow band uvb puba there is phototherapy with uvb phototoxic drug soralin given and soralin is a phototoxic drug it may be ingested orally or it may be topically and they bath puba means means soralin given to the skin and give a puba uh, ultraviolet a ultraviolet a ray soak puba means is this bath means you soak this uh, person uh, and take it out or soak means keep some fluid there and do this eczema laser the only laser work so many days work ip also work here but eczema laser is the most uh, most known it is nothing it is nothing but a targeted photo phototherapy is eczema laser eczema laser is not a treatment people are thinking there is no eczema laser in our country now some people are using chinese eczema not very good uh, so you can show candela candela prepare very nice eczema laser very good for psoriasis or any phototherapy uh, disease you can give eczema laser next please so this uh, the instrumental treatment topical treatment traditional treatment methotrexate methotrexate normally people are scared in go to internet uh, they say oh it is a cancer drug no methotrexate we are using low dose it is a disease modify, modifying agent not as a cyto no, 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 not as a cytotoxic drug we are not using we are using low doses as a disease the modifying agent disease modifying agent methotrexate work wonderful cyclopropane very good we are using these are all autoimmune disease is kara hote retinoid vitamin a derivative fumarates good and now the whole world all is running after biologics biologics but biologics main problem biologics in our country because of the cost and also due to infectious diseases infection chances more like tuberculosis or leprosy may aggravate but it is not that much that much dangerous but only dangerous thing in our country uh, you know one injection cost 55000 taka you need two injection every week for nay nine weeks seven weeks so who can afford it one lakh in every week very 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 difficult 
people are giving but in most of the countries now in canada it was not given by the government <laughs> their medical insurance not covered but when they declared the psoriasis is a is a autoimmune disease not a skin disease then it is it is accepted by the uh, national health in the united kingdom also canadian health authority uh, that is uh, social social health they give free of cost so people are taking uh, this uh, biologic very good treatment wonderful five years remission without remission you can see now five years is completed seven years then you can see the biologics are treating people good so adalimab then helifacept or or ifalizumab or or ifalizumab or internisept infleximab in our country only secuconimab we are getting secuconimab we are using secuconimab very good some people are using nobody is giving and new molecule is the latest of the series is aprimilas aprimilas is a wonderful drug i have presented a paper in uh, in delhi in a, in, a, in, a, in a psoriatic world congress of 300 patient with wonderful result of aprimilas do aprimilas main problem is aprimilas they also in biology it is called anti drug antibody in biologics is very known anti drug antibody if anti drug antibody is there so biology will fail in case of aprimilas ifc seen also there is anti drug in anti drug antibody and is fails next please so we have just described what are the treatment in in nutshell and now the significant advance in the treatment of psoriasis because psoriasis is very common with morbid disease is going very fast first goikman goikman uh, regime means give some tar give some uh, emollient and give some uh, ultraviolet radiation or sunlight or give sunlight then give the topical application it is a combination goikman means a combination of sunlight with topical uh, steroid or or um, there is a tar a cold tar treatment and topical steroid then ultraviolet 19 1974 they discovered ubb uva 74 73 they they thought the ultraviolet a and b means last treatment and there is no problem with this rise till 780 then they say no after puva therapy it comes back again methotrexate then retinoid retinoid also very good treatment uh, in our country also available topical vitamin d there is d analog mico calcipotriol or dibonex dobonex we can uh, fumaric acid also good stuff cyclosporine doing very well in psoriasis and tnf alpha inhibitor tnf alpha inhibitor also good interleukin 12 interleukin 2 interleukin 3 and in case of uh, biologic that il17 in case of uh, the risokiconimab is doing very well pd4 inhibitor now using and latest of the series il17 inhibitor 2015 that is covered till it is doing very well this is a chronology till 2020 is still 2020 this picture uh, is there but i think 2025 there will be more advanced the treatment of psoriasis every day people are doing restless research on psoriasis treatment next please these are the instrument we see whole body puva therapy phototherapy next please the patient goes inside close the door this is for the scalp hand hand held you be and these are the for the extremities palm or the sole or one extremity or or only the arms only the legs you can do this phototherapy next this is eczema laser eczema laser 308 nanometer ultraviolet a and this is this is nothing but a light converge light and converge light this is focused to one place small you cannot treat whole body only black psoriasis and you see eczema laser remission time is longer than the normal phototherapy or puva therapy this is the only difference between eczema laser and the phototherapy next anisal treatment reverse coiumnal very interesting reverse coiumnal what happened is psoriasis less on you rub with something i have seen why i came this country 1984 85 started doing biopsy see some patient goes after the biopsy they don't come even for the report and piles of report are there they are not coming taking the report after after few years they come oh you you are here you did your biopsy yes but you have done a surgery to my hand so i become cured it is called it is called reverse coiumna means any trauma may cure psoriasis any trauma i'll see another story later on dialysis psoriasis if there is a hemodialysis in peritoneal psoriasis it is go automatically or even uh, even peritoneal dialysis it may go and antimicrobial antibiotic we are using so many patient with ofloxacin and ofloxacin you are giving patient is cured or patient is completely patient says 10 days i take some ofloxacin i am okay for one month and these are the very unusual and these are called unlevel treatment by fda 
you know, non-level treatment, unlevel treatment. About the reverse coevnar, I knew one of my relative had psoriasis. So he went to one Kobiraz. The Kobiraz brought a snake. And first of all, he touched that uh, psoriatic place. He had psoriasis both the foot, with the snake was so cold. If someone touched the snake, you know, nothing in the world is cold like a snake skin. I have touched the skin, I know how cold it is. So first touch the skin. Later on, they cut the snake and the, they wash the uh, psoriatic place with some blood of the, uh, that snake. Then they, uh, they boil the snake and cover the snake, uh, there is boiled muscle, muscle on the feet and they covered it for 20 hours. And that my brother, I mean, my cousin, he completely recovered from the psoriasis for, I have seen his face, 40 years, he never had psoriasis. This is called reverse coibner, reverse coibner and cure of psoriasis. Next, please. Now, some advice to psoriasis patient. Number one, no worry, no tension, no emotional upset, no stress. It exacerbates when tension, stress, agitation, it aggravates psoriasis. So psoriasis patient must be very calm, cool, quiet. Next, please. Look, advice psoriasis patient, no smoking, no alcohol, no stress, no tension, no agitation. Boss Korbiki, boss will scold his subordinate. Director will scold the GM, AGM. GM will call the AGM. Ultimately, they will go to the house and they will be agitated with his wife. Nobody is there. Bina Karane, Borubara Vijay. That is Boss Bogadise and their Boka Gorbudra is a discharge of the house. The tension became inside, like Agne Giri of Nupa. It remains Volcano. Volcano means Boss and Bogata Kikorbe. So, when she did the Saka Bogatapu. Ultimately, ultimately, she bogged Boki Gorbe, but Kazan Mansu Bogadu, Kazan Mansu Gorbe. So, when she did a Biral Kimadu, Biral Kutajabe, Biral Zabekutai. She Giakotakon Kokkokkobe Matemu. So, a agitation will be discharged like this. So we must be very careful about agitation and tension and stress. Next, please. Food, uh, drug. There are some drug actually. A psoriatic patient must, must apply and take drug very, very regularly. Regular on time. Exercise and meditation. Exercise and meditation is very good treatment of psoriasis. This meditation, dhyan, and exercise, physical activity. Next, please. This is my book, you can read and go through this book. Uh, this is a textbook of more than 1300 pages. Next, please. This is my surgery book. You can see only very small, but fundamental of synopsis of dermatological surgery. Next. This is a book, treatise of topical uh, contraction in dermatology. There are 22 authors in this book. I'm one of the author. Abuse of steroid in the world is very much known, but Bangladesh is number one abuse of steroid. PTP the highest number of steroid raw materials imported in Bangladesh. No one can beat us. So the world authority asked me, the please write a chapter on a tropical corticosteroid abuse, three days. Then I wrote one chapter in this book, Koshikla had edited this book. And this, this book became 25th book in the world, medical book. Mane Pochish Tomo book, Manush Portes, Eto Manush. For a boita. It is very, very known book. And a Boijara editor, ba in 2015, 2019, uh, American Academy, so excellence, excellence in the Amrath Lee was a local Gizara Boita lexin. So it's a very wonderful book. You can go through this. It is internet. It is delay. You can go to net and read this book. Next, please. My college, I have studied. Next, 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 next. This is my hospital, Lagamilka. This is my university of Vienna. Next. This is St. Thomas Hospital. We had that, that my extensive training in dermatology and dermatosurgery and dermatopathology. Next, please, NHS. This is only a medical science where I, have done, where I have done my skin surgery training. Next, please. This is Harvard Medical School. Very, very known, very small building and very, very the, the place of knowledge and wisdom. I have done my laser training, their fundamental laser training in Harvard. Next, please. This is the University of Mississippi, where I, I was the uh, University of Ottawa, where I was two years regular uh, professor of dermatology there. And also now I am invited to professor there. Next, please. Mississippi Medical University, where I have gone, usually go, sometimes I'm invited, a uh, visiting professor, go there to take class. Okay. Next, please. 
So I have, I have shown these things just to encourage the young doctors, young people to go the places, to learn, to have knowledge, to have training. So thank you very much. This is the month of our um, Vijayar Mas, victory, victories month. We have achieved our, achieved our uh, independence with, with so, so many blood. We should respect our freedom fighter, respect our everybody Bangabundu, salute Bangabundu and all the freedom fighters, everybody, 30 million people who give their blood. And thank you very much for presenting. I'm sorry, it was a very long lecture. I've gone very fast and uh, that is all why I could do. I think uh, if you are, somebody is bored, please excuse me. Arupo Kritoli, please make dua for me. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. I took camera on Kornivan and network Bolo Jonaka camera off a silo. No, I'm not camera. Someone who looks. Oshon could do no bad, sir. Erocom Pranubunta among monomutokorek to presentation Amadrupo had door journal. Boyonko Shundor Bole Banglaki shop doatse. Amramono he Boyonko Shundore Shaki Hulam. BD physicians the revolutionary step near Chilo, notun notun step in Matu Mamadi young. Physicians the again in our journal. She revolution and mode the arrecti shuffle the potaka jukta hula ask a salary presentation in Mantume. Akunamba Chola Jabama, the shaman to panelist at Gatse. Amra Jatsi, Doctor Mohammed Tohidul Islam in that Sarekatse, Sarekas take a kitchen at our journal. Sir. Dono, Doctor Aki. The our Kobi Chodri, sir, today's presentation, a very, very brilliant presentation, wonderful presentation, a very elaborate and included all the uh, important points of psoriasis or psoriasis. Uh, sir is all is well regarded, internationally reported, and locally acclaimed dermatologist and pioneer skin surgeon of Bangladesh. I attend so many uh, presentation in various seminar. Always sir is active and participate in not only nationally but also internationally. And sir presentation is all time very informative and very brilliant presentation. I uh, thanks for his very informative presentation and hopefully in new uh, in future by arranged by the or BD physician, sir will participate in the new topics for presentation. Thank you. Ashunku Dhunabad sir. Saturday presentation in Modhe Dye. এমন না যে শুধু নবীন চিকিৎসকরাই উপকৃত হয়েছে আমরা দেখতে পেয়েছি আমাদের ডার্মাটোলজিস্ট যারা আছেন তারাও সম্মোহিত হয়ে সারের প্রেজেন্টেশনটি উপভোগ করেছেন তার প্রমাণ হিসেবে আমরা দেখতে পেয়েছি তাদের কিবোর্ডে আজকে ঝড় উঠেছে এবং আমাদের क्वेश्चन आंसर বক্স ভরে গেছে অসংখ্য প্রশ্নে আমরা এখন সরাসরি क्वेश्चन आंसर সেশনে চলে যাব আমরা চেষ্টা করব আমাদের সম্মানিত প্যানেলিস্ট এবং স্পিকার দুইজনের কাছ থেকে প্রশ্ন উত্তরগুলো শুনে নেওয়ার জন্য আমাদের এখানে অসংখ্য প্রশ্ন এসেছে সময় স্বল্পতার জন্য আমরা সবগুলো প্রশ্ন নিতে পারবো না তার মধ্যে আমরা চেষ্টা করেছি কিছু গুরুত্বপূর্ণ প্রশ্ন বেছে নিতে প্রথমেই যাচ্ছি ডক্টর সাইফুলা রাজিনের কিছু প্রশ্ন নিয়ে আসসালামু আলাইকুম স্যার হোয়াই সোরিয়াটিক স্কেলস আর সিলভারি কালার এন্ড হাউ সিলভারি স্কেল ইজ প্রডিউসড ইন সোরিয়াসিস হোয়াই সোরিয়াটিক ফ্ল্যাগস ইসুয়ালি অকার ইন এক্সটেন্স অফ সারফেসেস কবির চৌধুরী স্যার ওকে নাম্বার 1 অলরেডি আই হ্যাভ টোল ইন মাই লেকচার this psoriatic plaque is silvery white because this is albumin. Everybody you know, albumin is white. Albumin is a part of protein, albumin, globulin, fibrinogen, three protein, and this albumin is white. And that's why the psoriatic plaque is white. And this is the one on answer. Another, uh, what is the other question? Why uh, it's occurred in extensor surfaces? Oh, because, because the coibnerization or friction, friction, for this is a coibneric disease. Fundamentalist covenant describe any friction area, it is more, it is likely to do that. Because of the friction, the extensive surface, surface like elbow or knee, the places or the knuckle, these places, the plaque occurs more in extensive places. And that's why, because of the coibnerization, the plaques occur in the extensive surface. Amadir, Paraburti Prosno in that Sarekache, is there any relationship between psoriasis and other autoimmune diseases? <clears throat> Psoriasis, uh, actually, psoriasis is a, now thinks it's a multifactorial disease. So other autoimmune is a, a, a pathogenesis or other autoimmune disease like uh, diabetes or other disease may uh, as a, present as a comorbid uh, condition. So 
it may present at a time with the psoriasis and other autoimmune disease. Uh, our next question is for Kobir Chaudhuri, sir. Uh, Dr. Mahmudul Hassan Amin has put a lot of questions among them. Uh, sir, please tell us briefly about topical corticosteroid preparation, strength, and duration of use. Very interesting. Starting from the dawn of treatment of psoriasis, corticosteroid is the best and the only treatment still we are doing. It may be low potent like hydrocortisone, it may be medium potent, there is betamethasone, it may be potent, there is clobidazole proponate or clobidazole butyrate. So one step by step, uh, number one is low potent, intermediate potent, mid potent, high potent, super potent corticosteroid. And this all corticosteroid, according to strength, someone is 0.5 is 0.5, 0.25 like this is a big, big thing and big chapter to discuss about the percentage of the, uh, the corticosteroid. So in psoriasis, very, very important why to topical corticosteroid should be used in caution. A patient is using very long time, suppose topitosone propionate or betamethasone, and ultimately the patient is coming to the doctor, it is not working. The same steroid not working, why? It's a very, very important question because they develop tachyphyl axis. Tachyphylaxis is a term used in antibiotic is called resistance. In case of biology is called anti-drug antibody. In case of, uh, in case of here in uh, um, steroid, even in oral steroid, it called tachyphylaxis, means it, it not work. But what happened? Then because the steroid goes inside the skin, it remains there at molecular level and it, it discharged uh, one by one. Ultimately they became, and they, they, they became very much tachyphylic on the skin surface. So it is very important in, if you, uh, we should start steroid with low potent like hydrocortisone, then go gradually uh, like um, uh, clobitazole, go last one is super potent. Next you can go uh, this, uh, recently you are using very, 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 very low, low potent steroid, but it works very well, momentosan furate, momentosan furate, then gradually you go higher. First you go higher steroid, then the low potent will not work. And this potency step by step we should be used. And these are the three or four categories of topical steroid. And topical steroid also we can use combination with Vaseline itself was a high, uh, it causes, uh, the, it is a carotolytic agent. Steroid is a carotolytic and Vaseline is carotolytic. Another thing is base. The cream base may be penetrated more than this uh, um, ointment. So in case of topical steroid, two things. It may, be, it may be powder or it may be cream, it may be ointment. So in case of a lesion is very dry, we should use ointment. If the lesion is, uh, is oozy, we can give cream. And it's very oozy, you can give some powder or you can just solution or lotion like scalp. We can use lotion, topical steroid as a lotion or as a cream like this. And it depends on the uh, uh, part of the body. Accordingly, we can use this test like nail. Nail, sometimes you can see occlusive. A steroid to be given, give occlusion with some cling wrap or by a polythene or cellophane. And under the sole, it's difficult to keep this medicine. So you are using steroid and give some clean wrap because perfusion, because of the perfusion it absorbs in the skin, this work. It is better to perfusion because it is a disease. Some people say, I don't want to take any uh, topical, I want some oral. No, because the, the medicine you take, it cannot come to the keratin layer because the penetration is low. A high, high uh, penetration cannot be done in skin. So topical plus oral, oral, not steroid, or other drug to be used. So topical steroid is the number one stay, number one treatment in psoriasis, plaque psoriasis mainly topical, uh, topical steroid. So topical steroid, this way, we can use step by step accordingly, seeing the uh, uh, clinical or uh, this is clinical presentation. And doctor himself to decide which steroid, what to use. So this is the, I think, clear about the answer about the topical steroid, how we can use, where we can use. Uh, there is another important question, sir. Uh, what is the dose titration guideline of methotrexate? And if a psoriatic lady having methotrexate or retinoid wants to conceive, what to do for that? Number one, the methotrexate we are using, uh, already I told in my lectures, it is a disease-modifying agent. The type, there are two types of doses in methotrexate. Number one is cell kinetic dose. Cell kinetic dose means give three doses in a week, uh, three doses in week, uh, morning, evening, and next day morning. Because four days, there is psoriatic uh, erythropoiesis or the cell turnover goes in four days in case of psoriasis instead of 28 days or four weeks. So here you give a cell kinetic dose, one dose. And next dose is you can give 
loading dose, start with 10 milligram, 15 milligram, one dose once in a week. And like this, titration, why titration done? Because there is chance of, again, there is a, a chance of tachyphalis also in case of uh, methotrexate. It, it did not work. Uh, you using for 10, uh, maybe five years, suddenly stop working. So titration is, is very important. Start with one tablet, there is 15, 7.5 milligram, go to 15 milligram, go to 25 milligram. Don't exceed 50 or 45 milligram in a week because that will go to the another type of dose which will be cytotoxic drug. So you should come, we should be titration starting from 2.5 milligram, not less than five milligram, to five milligram to 50 milligram, not more than 50 milligram in a week. So we should be very careful about the titration of the dose of methotrexate. And the two types of doses, one is a, a cell canning dose, another is the loading dose. And these two, two doses use methotrexate with success. Methotrexate is the drug because it is, it is cost effective. So it's good for our country, but you must do the liver or uh, the, the kidney uh, function test, LFT and also KFT. You should do kidney function, liver function regularly because the chance of there is hepatotoxy or nephrotoxy. We should, we should be very careful about this. Uh, drug using. But if, if kidney and liver, sometimes they say uh, you can go for the uh, two gram, two gram or three gram, uh, there, is, there is a limitation. How can you use? But two gram, if finished in two years or one year, you stop it and go other drug and six months give a period. Then you can use it. Like steroid tachyphylaxis, better medicine not working, you give, give a rest period to patient, not giving steroid for three months, then start again. And methotrexate is also like this. You stop it, you can go another drug, and maybe after six months, you can start again. We do like this. And this is methotrexate drug titration and use in psoriasis. Sir, here is another practical question. A patient with uh, psoriasis was wrongly diagnosed as- Oh, another, another question left. Pregnancy. Yes, sir. So number one, it is, it is a, uh, there is no human study. But animal study shows that there, there is teratogenicity. So a woman want to be pregnant at least six months before. And it is good for one month before they must stop male or female both, not only women. Men also, because there is, there is, there is teratos, teratospermia in case, of, in case of methotrexate use. So male and female, both must stop the drug of, uh, of uh, methotrexate, uh, going for pregnancy, planning for pregnancy, at least six months to one year before planning of pregnancy. If he's pregnant, should be very, very careful it, it, sometimes you say you can do your, uh, you know, termination of the pregnancy, but now there are good, good ultrasonologists can see if there are any teratogenicity or anything in the fetus, you know, you know, uh, now the fetoscopy is very, very good. They can, they can see inside the womb what is the situation of the fetus. So we can go and monitor. That woman must monitor. If begin pregnant in between the treatment, monitor. If there is something, you can go for termination of the pregnancy for the safety of the baby, baby of the child. Thanks. Uh, sir, his next, next question is, a patient of psoriasis was wrongly diagnosed as a case of tinea corporis and was treated with systemic terbinafine for eight weeks. What will be the further management? Very important. <clears throat> psoriasis is a disease. There are some drugs which aggravate psoriasis, like beta blocker, like NSA, like steroid rolibone, like this. Terbinafine is a drug that aggravates psoriasis. So you give some terbinafine, it's in a case of tinea corporis, it will aggravate. The patient will come to a doctor, what happened? My disease, disease is increased, but not disease increased. He developed a new disease. He had a psoriasis inside. Psoriasis means mild psoriasis or pre-psoriatic condition. And then he developed psoriasis because terbinafine induces psoriasis. Terbinafine aggravates psoriasis. So this fate is not good. So they must immediately, when there is aggravation, they must stop terbinafine in case of a case of a psoriasis, wrongly diagnosed as tinea corporis. So it's very important message to all of our doctors. Don't use terbinafine here if there is little chance of eczema or psoriasis patient. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our next question is for uh, Imdad, sir. Uh, the questions are from Dr. Juthi Dash. Sir, what are the differentiating, differentiating point between psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis clinically? Thank you. Uh, usually, it is very sometimes difficult that psoriasis with seborrheic dermatitis in the scalp. So, already Sar mentioned uh, uh, details about the clinical feature of psoriasis. That is, it, it is supposed to occur in the scalp. Psoriasis uh, and the scale is uh, not like seborrheic, it is uh, brani scale or greasy scale. The scale is different. And so, we know the psoriatic scale is a silvery scale. 
underlying this scale, there is erythematous, uh, uh, there is erythematous plaque covered with silvery scale. But in case of psoriasis, the scale is uh, greasy scale or brownie scale. It occurs uh, not on the scalp as well as the uh, external ear, the back of the ear, also the L of the nose. That is seboric area. This is important. But psoriatic uh, not usually not cross the anterior hair line. And as well as a patient, we have to see the other parts of the body that is extensor respect, as well as the nail, any nail involvement. Uh, so this is important is the, uh, that is the, uh, here is the plaque, as well as the scale, this is important. As well as in the case of psoriasis, uh, that is, uh, uh, we can uh, check the, by the, the that uh, Sar already told that we can see by dermoscopy. The visibility of the difference of the scale as well as the clinical picture by the uh, without doing any biopsy or uh, that is uh, not uh, that is by doing the only dermoscopy physically. Uh, thank you, Dr. Imdad. Very nicely, he, he differentiated the uh, psoriasis and the seborrheic dermatitis. It's very difficult, but one thing is very important seborrheic dermatitis is oily and psoriasis is dry. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned this uh, corona seborica. Corona seborica means hairline. The psoriasis cross the corona seborica, not the seborrheic dermatitis. And face will be totally covered with uh, seborrheic dermatitis, oily, but not this psoriasis. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Nicely he, he, he described. But I told very simply, dry and oil. There is no oil, the psoriasis. That's all, yeah. the seborrheic. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And you know the seborrheic area is designated. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The next question is, how can we differentiate clinically the range of pigmentation of gutted psoriasis and arsenicosis? <clears throat> very, very important. Arsenicosis is a disease. Now, in, in Bangladesh, you know, 50 million people had under threat of arsenic. The most, most, the most known disaster of the human mankind. Prithibite kuno manus etoguli manus ekshonge involved hoina jong arsenicosis Bangladesh course. So this arsenic is the number one, they will develop raindrop pigmentation. That is called leukomelanosis, leukomelanosis. Some white, some black, some white, some black in chest and the back. And always, always the a patient, if they develop arsenic, their palm and soul will have sandy hyperkeratosis, sandy hyperkeratosis. Sandy means Shirish Kago Jermoto, Goste Dhar Dhar Lagbe. Or Kalo Shada, Kalo Shada Dekha Jabe, but raindrop psoriasis, so if you peel off in case of uh, arsenical dermatosis or arsenical raindrop, there will be no scale, there will be no bleeding. You cannot take it out, it will be inherent. But in case of gutte, you take out this gutte, there will be tiny bleeding point or, or, the, or auspice sign positive. Very clear demarcation. The side is same and looks sometimes confusing, but if you very clearly you see and their history of arsenic ingestion, there will be, there will be no high history of arsenic. This is the other point, but clinically it's very easy to diagnose. Scale will, will tell you the orono, uh, tell you the, the, the um, auspice sign or bleeding point is impossible in case of arsenical dermatosis or arsenical uh, leukomelanosis or raindrop. It's both a raindrop call, but the difference is this raindrop is uh, in case of uh, psoriasis is uh, violaceous or it may be um, whitish. And in case of uh, in case of uh, in case of arsenicosis, there will be black and white, black and white dot, and quite different. You can see two pictures. You can differentiate easily. It's good for dermatosis. We know it. No problem to diagnose, differentiate the arsenical dermatosis or arsenic raindrop with the raindrop gutted psoriasis. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, what is the probability of developing psoriasis in a child of a psoriatic mother? And what will be the manifestation and management of psoriasis in children? A lot of patients come to us and say, couple come to us, I married to a girl who is psoriatic. So what can I do? Should I divorce her? Why? Because my child will develop psoriasis. Why? No. No. No, it is genetic disorder. Look, 7% chance of psoriasis development of a couple. That means if you have 100 children, 93 will have no psoriasis. That means 7% means, what? 7 percent means 7 child with psoriasis. So you go without any hesitation, 93 children, no psoriasis. So don't go for 98, but there is chance, and 94, because 7%. So the people are, you know, it is just give you an example. The only 7% chance of 
uh, the genetic. Genetic is not, not very easy. And, but if both the, both the parents are sorority, more chance, double. It may be 15%. So, and this is the percentage of sorority. This is, this is a data by the American, American uh, we have got no data in our country because Amadir Sariya Sirugi Sankha, nobody knows because uh, it, it is very sad. I wrote 35,000 letters to our doctor. Please, not now, 20 years, 25 years back. Please tell the psoriasis patient name and address to me. I want to make a data. You know, nobody answered my letters. The people are thinking, sir, want to take our patient address to invite them to treat. I don't know why. So I, I took a, a initiative to make a solid data or a psoriatic patient in our country. But now psoriasis club is doing, we are doing another data to send the, because, because the International Federation asked me to give some uh, data of your country of psoriasis patient. I could not give it, solid data. So here, uh, very, very important. So treatment of child psoriasis, we don't go for very big drug. We cannot give, we cannot give uh, any sorts of uh, autoimmune drug. Yeah, there is, um, you cannot give methotrexate, nothing. And only topical treatment up to two years. After two years, you can go for treatment. Now also four years, they give methotrexate. Previously, you are not giving methotrexate, but Dr. Sandeep Andor is a very known child um, dermatologist in Calcutta. He saw so many paper given, uh, given uh, methotrexate, the drug of child in children more than four years. So we can give only topical for the newborn until two years. After two years, we can think of some, some uh, parental or some uh, oral treatment. But after two years, topical treatment, maybe topical steroid or tazarotene or something. There are so many steroids, dithranol, uh, we can give, uh, no problem. So it, 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 should, it should be very carefully managed, carefully managed in case of children. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Our next question is for Dr. Imdad, sir. Sir, what is the relation of psoriasis with arthritis and its management? Thank you. Sir already briefly described about the management of the psoriasis and as well as arthritis. First of all, easily if a patient is psoriatic arthritis is diagnosed by the clinical criteria, then we usually uh, use, uh, usually apply the systemic treatment, usually no topical treatment if the arthritis is occurs. So usually the math already some mentioned that the methotrexate uh, already as a lefronomide, the biologics, now to facilitate acrylimus, this drug are used. This depends upon the patient age, patient and then the severity and the types of arthritis and other comorbid condition as well as before prescribing any systemic drug, we have to see the liver function, uh, kidney function, and others investigation. Then we'll decide uh, the, which drug will be suitable for this. And the biologics, uh, usually already Sir mentioned that in case of our country, we easily don't prescribe the biologics because the cost of the drug, usually prescribe this methotrexate or tofacinib, must, uh, as well as the other leflunomide, this drug, are easily used for the management of the psoriatic arthritis. Sir already mentioned uh, details about this. Dr. Ibda uh, told very nicely yes. the psoriatic arthritis management, but now we have come to a conclusion with our uh, rheumatologist. We usually refer these cases to rheumatologist because it is a joint involvement, but mm -hmm. latest treatment of this uh, psoriatic arthritis or arthropathy is genus kinase inhibitor, JEC inhibitor. Yes. JEC inhibitor, 11 milligram you give daily, Within one or two weeks, and there is no no pain. It's the wonderful drug is Jack Genus kinase inhibitor now 11 milligram. One yes. dose 11 milligram must be the, the dose is very important. Give maybe I have given two months to a patient. Uh, wonderful. But normally if there is mutilating or severe arthritis, I ask the patient go to a rheumatologist. They are a good doctor for joint joint uh, treatment. But I write the doctor please. Uh, the patient is psoriatic. Avoid steroid or something. Methotrexate, uh, Dr. Imdad, very uh, nicely mentioned. Methotrexate was a very wonderful drug for psoriatic arthritis. In case of psoriasis, arthritis, both treated together. So this uh, psoriatic arthritis, you can treat, but these are the drugs. But we should, we dermatologists should keep to be in our limitation. If there is severe arthritis, mutilating arthritis, and there is physiotherapy is very good for the claw or for this uh, swan egg deformity, the ball exercise, the, the, the rubber ball, it's very wonderful. I sent some patient to physiotherapy, they give physiotherapy wonderful, uh, the, the rehabilitation of the patient of case of arthritis. We should 
multifactorial. We should treat cooperative with our other specialists like rheumatologists, like um, uh, physical medicine, medicine, or go to physical medicine or physiotherapist even. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, there is another question. Uh, sir, what is the difference between uh, true geographic tongue and psoriatic tongue lesion? Sometime, sometime there is no disease. It is called true geographic tongue. Means it is no fungus, nothing. But congenitally, the child looks de geographic tongue. But difference is this. If you geographic tongue, you go for the, uh, you can peel off, there is tiny, tiny bleeding point. The color of the border is very similar to the dull silver scale, and it is erythematous, but is central erythematous, but which is congenital uh, geographical tongue or true geographical tongue, and the, it is it is confirmed. It, it is not changes. Geography is remains same, same with or without treatment. But psoriasis, it may it may be less, it may be more in case of uh, the, uh, in case of psoriasis, and there is dermoscope you can use, or you can do biopsy, you can differentiate it. But true geographic tongue may be congenital. It is not a disease. It is a, it is a physiological phenomenon. Sometimes something or everything is not disease. Everything is not disease. Something looks like disease, but not disease. So this is the true geographic tongue and the psoriatic geographic We have the feature of psoriasis, but true geographic tongue, there will be no features of psoriasis. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Next question is for Imdat, sir. Sir. Uh, is cyclosporine more effective than methotrexate in the treatment of plaque psoriasis? Easily cyclosporine uh, easily not chose before the methotrexate, but in some condition, uh, not plaque psoriasis, in case of where the methotrexate or retinoid is not responding, in that case, we chose cyclosporine. And those uh, female, the, 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 those are reproductive based. Sometimes we uh, they will want to plan to take the babies, in that case, we sometimes choose the cyclosporine. And in case of uh, pastular psoriasis, uh, sometimes uh, it works very good in case of acute pastular psoriasis or bone jambos, we call. And some condition when the patient could not tolerate the methotrexate or retinoid, in that case, cyclosporine is good, but it is more costly than the retinoid and uh, the methotrexate. In case of methotrexate, it's a very cheap drug and, and you can uh, buy any patient easily. But in case of cyclosporine, it is more costly than the. But in sometimes uh, cyclosporine nowadays, it is uh, some research are doing about the cyclosporine, especially for reproductive age. They are aiming the very good drug for. But in after certain period, two months or three months, then sometimes switch over to this after controlling the drug with the methotrexate or retinoid. But patient have to uh, follow up the for hypertension or any renal uh, complication developed. Thank you very much, Dr. Imdad. And firstly, the cyclosporine came into the world. It caused neoral. Neoral is send immune. And this Sandoz says this is the best drug for any psoriasis. And, some, and then it was not having very good market. But recently they have a research saying flex psoriasis, very good. There is a small molecular primulas. Any will biologic work good for the plexuris, severe plexuris. But two cases, already Dr. Imdan pointed out, in case of erythrodermic psoriasis and the pestilence psoriasis, this drug, cyclosporine, is the best drug. In my practice, I have a lot of patients admitted in my hospital and the medical college. I see 10, 20 patients. And usually when the erythrodermic psoriasis or pestilence, I give combination maybe with some other drug, but cyclosporine patient, yesterday one patient came, well, sir, I was very good with cyclosporine and you stopped it, I am now in no serious condition. But very important point of cyclosporine, keep in mind, cyclosporine must be given in divided doses. Maybe 50-50, maybe 100-100, not single dose, because half-life is short. So we should give it divided doses, once morning and once at night. And it's very good in erythroderma or pestular psoriasis. And it's a wonderful drug with less side effect now than the methotrexate vomiting, or even epimilas, severe vomiting and vertigo. But this side effect is less uh, in case of uh, cyclosporine. It's a wonderful drug. Though it is expensive in our country, but it is the best drug for these two, two conditions than the pressure. But in plexuries, I think methotrexate is better <coughs> than the cyclosporin. Thank you, Dr. Imdad, for your description to interfere. Sorry for that. No, no, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. How fantastic a presentation could be to hold audience from both home and abroad. Dear sir, we have an important audience from abroad, Dr. Pravin, sir, from India. He asked, what are the common drugs or sending psoriasis? I would request Professor Kobir Jodhri, sir, to answer him. 
now in practice, people are having hypertension, the beta blocker. Beta blocker aggravates psoriasis like anything. Number two is this steroid withdrawal rebound is another. And some other drug not only used in, in our practice, we are not using, but there's so many, so many drugs are uh, aggravated psoriasis. Next is we are using terbinafine is antifungal drug that aggravates psoriasis. And really you can, uh, NSA, NSA not sterile anti-inflammatory. We are using very routinely in case of uh, pain, any aggravate, even aspirin using in some, uh, so many th th uh, as blood thinner that aggravate in psoriasis. So many, some blood thinner, and there are also psoriasis. But usually this common drug, we are saying not to take. And this is, these are things, there, there is a, an NSA and a beta blocker and terbinafine and uh, some other drug not, not, not now using, uh, not very much least use. Uh, there is, um, don't, don't use, but I, I can remember that it knows because lithium, we are not using. Lithium, 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 lithium. And the quinine, quinine, it's very, very important, used in malaria. Or use in quinine in case of uh, in case of SLE. I have a patient. Patient had SLE. We have given sir quinine. He had no psoriasis. He developed psoriasis. One of my friend he developed psoriasis. So quinine is another thing. Or or mepacrine or or now using so many even in COVID we are using quinine in case of uh, you know uh, hydrochloroquine, hydrochloroquine, and this aggravates psoriasis. There's so many drug aggravates psoriasis, but we should warn the patient that these are the drug don't take. We, we give a list even to patient don't don't use the drug. And avoid, and these are the drug usually uh, aggravated psoriasis. Thank you very much for your question from uh, India. Thank you for participating in our discussion. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your excellent uh, presentation. Any other drug he can tell, no problem. These are the drug normally we avoid. A common drug use. Uh, Imdan, sir, would you like to uh, add something here? The sir already mentioned usually uh, it is beta blocker, calcium channel blocker lithium, anti-malarial, terbinafine, and steroid already, sir, mentioned, they're very, very sure. careful to systemic steroid. And if this is the misuse or abuse of this drug, they aggravate the, uh, the plaque psoriasis to pustular psoriasis. So steroid is the uh, very important, granulocyte colony stimulating factor also, uh, the lipid lowering, and glyburide, this also may increase this uh, psoriatic disease. So try to avoid this, uh, these drugs which are aggravating factor for psoriasis. Uh, thank you, sir. Prathomi bolle niye chilam jo amader prosno uttor box oshong ke prosno bhore gaye chhe. Kintu shomoy shalpotar jono amra eight je beshi prosno ekhon na nite parchi na. Ekhon amader jono roye chhe vote of thanks, vote of thanks niye ashpen Mr. Bhupati Kumar Roy, Executive Director, Marketing, Healthcare Pharmaceuticals Limited. Mr. Bhupati Kumar Roy. Uh, healthcare pharmaceuticals are you listening to me? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Sir, I'm going to join you. Sir, I'm going to join you. আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আমরা অপেক্ষা করছি ওনার ভোট অফ থ্যাঙ্কস এর জন্য জি স্যার জয়েন করছেন জি বিডি ফিজিটিয়ান সে শুরু থেকে হেলথ কেয়ার ফার্মাসিউটিক্যালস আমাদের এই সায়েন্টিফিক সেশন গুলো আয়োজন করে আমাদের এই নলেজ শেয়ারিং আইডিয়া গুলোকে অনেক দূর এগিয়ে নিয়ে গেছে এই জন্য আমরা বারবার বিডি ফিজিটিয়ান সে পক্ষ থেকে হেলথ কেয়ার ফার্মাসিউটিক্যালস কে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি এখন আমরা আশা করব হেলথ কেয়ার ফার্মাসিউটিক্যালস এর পক্ষ থেকে मिस्टर ভূপতি কুমার রয় আমাদেরকে কিছু বলবেন Thank you, madam. Am I clear? Did I get it? Ah, yes. I have not seen it. Yes. Yes, sir. Look, sir. Sir, one or two lighter opposites, sir. You have to see. Okay. Ah, I mean, just a moment. Sir, I want to get it, na? Ah, man, I want to get it. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Ah, honourable and learned speaker of today's. Scientific seminar, Professor Dr. Uh, M. U. Kovid uh, Choudhury Sir. Professor uh, Kovid Choudhury Sir is uh, well regarded and internationally reputed, one of the leading dermatologists and pioneer skin uh, surgeon in Bangladesh. 
the contribution of professor kabir choudhary will be remembered forever in the field of dermatology in bangladesh a uh, learned panelist uh, dr mohammad tauhidul islam imdad department of dermatology uh, ragip rabia uh, medical college uh, selate uh, moderator uh, dr maksuda jahanaki junior consultant uh, kurmitla general hospital coordinator dr hasan khan admin bd physician <laughs> So uh, the psoriasis is a disease of the skin. We never lose uh, the oasis of the hope and self-confidence in ourselves. Treatment may be long term, but life should go on with happiness for a long time. Skin is a really great indicator of what is going on inside our body. It is a Privilege and great honor for me to extend the gratitude and thanks to the honored uh, and learned speaker, Professor Kovic Chaudhary sir, for his wonderful and scientific educational presentation for all the participants attended in this uh, program. My gratitude to the to Dr. Tawhidul Islam Amdad for his uh, kind presence as a panelist and support the to make the program uh, successful i am deeply obliged to dr hasan khan the physician for giving us the opportunity to work as the scientific partner of bd physicians and for organizing such a wonderful educational program i have been i have seen Dr. Hassan Khan is the most amicable person, always smiling, great organizer in the physician community who is continuously working to disseminate knowledge and experience from senior to junior in different disciplines in the medical science in Bangladesh. Respected physicians and participants, as you already know, Healthcare Pharmaceuticals is one of the fourth largest pharma company in Bangladesh. We do have an international standard uh, manufacturing facilities. Uh, our strength is our quality practice in every steps of our operations, whether it is uh, manufacturing, the quality control, the marketing, and the communication with the healthcare uh, 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 physicians. We are proud to tell you that healthcare got the accreditation from the reputed organizations, international uh, regulatory authorities like TGA, the Therapeutic Goods Administration of Australia, and NPRA, the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Authority of Malaysia. And we are on the process of accreditation by US FDA and European Union. Currently, we are exporting our products to more than 20 countries all over the world. Healthcare Pharmaceuticals is committed to support this kind of webinar, seminar, and symposium in future to disseminate on recent medical update and clinical uh, experience in the field of dermatology and skin disorder. I would like to uh, thank the speaker and the organizers, Dr. Hassan Khan, and, uh, and the uh, uh, panelist and the coordinator and the moderator for their successful organization of uh, arrangement of this wonderful program. More than uh, 120 doctors have already died uh, from COVID-19 since March 2020. We pray to Almighty Allah, Jannatul Ferdus, to the departed soul of the doctor Amen. whom we have lost due to COVID-19. My heartfelt gratitude to all the doctors of the country 
who are working and fighting day and night COVID-19 pandemic in Bangladesh still. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Healthcare Pharmaceuticals, for being with us. We will be hope. Uh, we will hoping to be with you further in future. Thank you again. Uh, respected physicians, I'm at a webinar, Jokun Dekte Pai, at a Gochan webinar, I'm the Pai, in the at a webinar, Gochate, Jepuriman, Purisram, Motu de Jetehoi, Sheta Organizing Committee, Kub Halo Korejan, I'm the organizing committee, Poku take a BD physician, said Pran, Doctor Esan and Kamil Kastiki Kishun Tej. Don't know what Doctor Aki, Ami Ashule, Taman Kichi Bulbuna, Ami Obushi, Anthuri Gore, Don't know what the number, Professor Kubichu Disarke. Uh, being a dermatologist, Ashwala Sarachkaja present Kurachan, Pura Psoriasis, actor lecture cover correct, an unbelievable task. Sar shop kitchu cover Kurachan, Sar didn't miss a single thing about uh, psoriasis. Eta Mada Juno, but a bit of physician such an Ostanta Shamanel, Japura Prithibir, one of the leading dermatologists, Professor Emil Kubich at Chodri Sar Amadisha joined Kurachan, Amadisha Tatka Buto session holo, Sar Amadisha the GP Dinne session Kurben, Inshallah Sar Ashustu Thaku. আমরা এই দোয়া করি এবং স্যার আমাদের অনেক সেশন উপহার দিবেন আমরা আমি স্যারের কাছে চিরকৃতজ্ঞ আর আমাদের বিডি ফিজিশিয়ানসের আরেকজন পার্ট আমাদের বিডি ফিজিশিয়ানসের মানে প্যানেল মেম্বার আমাদের সর্বজন প্রিয় এবং বাংলাদেশের একজন ডাইনামিক ডার্মাটোলজিস্ট আজকে প্যানেলিস্ট ডক্টর তৌহিদুল ইসলাম এমদাদ স্যারকে আমি অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ জানাই আমি আবারো সবশেষে প্রফেসর এমইউ কবির সুস্থ এবং দীর্ঘজীবন কামনা করি এবং হেলথকেয়ার uh, Mr. Bhupati Kumar Roy ke ami dhunnobat janai tadher extended support jonno. Abong asha kori tadher bhuvishto amader jonno support obari to thakbe. Dhunnobat shobai. Dhunnobat Dr. Hasan Khan. Amra aaj ke rovi nare ekhe bari shesh porjay jole shethi. Shesh porjay kicho kotha na shunle noy. Abong shay kotha gul amader shamne tulayan ban aboshi Professor Emu Kubir Chowdhury sir. Sare mohurte programme sheshi ekdom closing kicho kotha shunte jatsi. ধন্যবাদ ডক্টর আখি তোমার এত সুন্দর প্রণামন্ত যে তুমি প্রেজেন্টেশন তুমি যে কন্ডাকশন করছো খুব সুন্দর আমরা সবাই খুশি আর পার্টিসিপেন্ট যারা ছিলেন সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ আমরা সবাই বিভূতি বাবু যে বললেন যে আমাদের যে ডাক্তাররা চলে গেছেন 121 জন তাদের জন্য আমরা সব সময় দোয়া করব তারা যেন যেন নাচ ফেড দাউসে যান যারা অসুস্থ আছেন তাদের জন্য দোয়া করতেছি প্রফেসর আব্দুল্লাহ অসুস্থ আব্দুল্লাহ এখন বর্তমানে হাসপাতালে আছেন তো ওনার স্ত্রী অসুস্থ তো আব্দুল্লাহ ডেইলি ফোন করে শুধু আমাকে বলে যে আপনি বের হয়ে না Abdullah is my friend. Abdullah is my student. Abdullah was my same building mate. On a on a gonishto. So, in such a way, I do a prayer. After do a prayer, Abdullah, Sara Pitiir, manuske Bangali derke, bivinno onushtane madhe me. Sundar by bujiye se COVID ne bhayer ke chunai COVID. After that, asen, amader building a chia si family ke uni basai ke chikisha korsen. Eiri kom doctor a dedicated COVID survey dishen Sara dunia thei. Frontline Sara amar me London se COVID duty korsen. So, I'm the doctor. I can hang out with a Dutch among us. Kay, the BD physician is the Onustanta, CME, a polystyric down a Temenai. Tarkan on the Covid actors in CGC, they were waved there and Madame Kiva at the world program Kotabari, at the Kichu Kotabari. I met a program column got to Tindinagi, second equity Shatlok Manuscript Onustan Chilo. Second, I was one of the director. So, there comes Koto Manu Exonia, the Kalke Onustan column, another general meeting column, the complex number. Possible schedule I'm a chairman. Shaken India, Pakistan, America, Onekas, and London, Tara participate because they have normal meeting in Tambra to look Dakte Parine. Webber, the Tomate is Sundar program, is a Shavaya Kutitora Shavay Goreboshe, Sikalap Korbe, the Amarjitru Shambok Chilami Bolsi, Koturu Kupoki to Hava Mijanina, the Ami Otunto Gorbito, the Amade Dakta, a young generation, at the Sundar Babe, Sundar by Shopkitu Kotese, among at the Sundar by Shopki Charache. তোমাদের যে প্রাণ পুরুষ তোমাদের প্রাণ পুরুষ যিনি রেকর্ড করেন ডক্টর খান সাহেব যে তো সাংঘাতিক আমাকে ফোন করে করে এই করতে চাঁদ আসতে আমি অনেক ব্যস্ত অনেক ব্যস্ত প্রতিদিন আমি 11 টার আগে শেষ করতে পারি না বিভিন্ন প্রোগ্রাম থাকে কিন্তু ওর প্রোগ্রামে রাজি হয়েছি করছি এবং এই ধরনের শিক্ষণীয় অনুষ্ঠানে আমি আমি সব সময়ই থাকি আমি অটো ইউনিভার্সিটি পড়াইতে যাই সেটাও সম্পূর্ণরূপে অবৈতনিক কোনো টাকা নেই না তার আমার টাকা অফার করছে আমেরিকা যাই তাও আমি ক্লাস নিতে টাকা নেই না পরে যদিও তারা 2000 টাকার একটা চেক পাঠায় দেয় এটা তোমার অনারিয়াম না it is just to me as a course of the law. But Ami Chai, without any parishramic, Ami Eternal Shikha or Tonustane, Ami participate Korbo Jokonto Nagba, with the Kunus Homoshana Takaoshi Asbo, Inshallah, Abar Dino, Sobeke, participate Korajin Sundar Babe, Sunajino, Arjara, it a Onustan Poritana Kose, Kusundar Kotaki Bose, Ekta Onustan Kup Sundar, I contrast, Kinto Gusetik into a contra, 
কয়েক ঘন্টা কয়েক দিন কয়েক সপ্তাহ লাগছে সে এক মাস যাবত চাচ্ছে তো আমি আবারও ধন্যবাদ জানাই বিডি ফিজিশিয়ানকে সুন্দর একটি প্রোগ্রাম ওয়েব নিয়ে উপহার দেওয়ার জন্য আর যারা পার্টনার আছেন যেমন সাইন্টিফিক পার্টনার তাদেরকে ধন্যবাদ তারা এত সুন্দরভাবে আমাদেরকে এত কিছু দিয়ে দিচ্ছেন এবং এত সুন্দরভাবে আমার বক্তৃতা দিচ্ছেন আমি আমার আন্তর অন্তস্থ থেকে সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ জানাই পার্টিসিপেশনের জন্য আমাকে আমন্ত্রণ জানার জন্য আমরা আশা করি এইভাবেই আমরা অনুষ্ঠান করব এবং আমাদের জুনিয়র সিনিয়র ডাক্তার কারণ নলেজের কোনো শেষ নাই নো নলেজ হেজ গট নো অ্যান্ড শিখার কোনো শেষ নাই জানার কোনো শেষ নাই বোঝার কোনো শেষ নাই আমরা চেষ্টা করব যে নিজেরা জানতে নিজেরা বুঝতে এবং অন্যের সঙ্গে এই শেয়ার করতে পার্টিসিপেট করতে তা আবার ধন্যবাদ জানিয়ে আমার বক্তব্য এখানে শেষ করি সবার শুভ কামনা করি সবাই কোভিড মুক্ত থাক যারা কোভিড হয়েছে তারা সুস্থ যাদের হয়নি তারা মুক্ত থাক যারা মারা গেছেন তার জন্য আত্মা শিখ আমাদের আজকের স্পিকার এবং সম্মানিত প্যানেলিস্টের জন্য বিডি ফিজিশিয়ান পক্ষ থেকে আন্তরিক ধন্যবাদ এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাচ্ছি সম্মানিত চিকিৎসক বৃন্দ বিডি ফিজিশিয়ান এই অগ্রযাত্রা অব্যাহত থাকবে আপনারা আমাদের সাথেই থাকুন পরবর্তী কোন অনুষ্ঠানে আবার চলে আসবো আপনাদের সামনে শুভরাত্রি